this unique three-week tournament today with competition from two regions on ESPN. Here in Wichita, we have second round action with a matchup of the five seed Florida TNT against the four seed, the LA Cheaters. Terrence Jones for the LA Cheaters, opening tap, and here we go, the LA Cheaters coming off a 76-73 win yesterday in its first round game against Mental Toughness despite a horrible his performance at the free throw line going 12 of 30, but Terrence Jones goes inside and he scores the game's first two. Nice strong move there. Jones on the catch knew exactly what he wanted to do at the pill. That quick reaction was enough to get a beat on the basket. Dominique Jones for Florida TNT banks it in and he well. Jones shoots in a three and down it goes. Terrence Jones loses it. Turnover on Florida TNT. Up the floor come the cheaters. Jones against Smith. Curls off the rim. Tipped up and in though by LA Cheaters. By he's been he's gotten off to a pretty good start here offense. Planton against Jones. Nice move inside and lays it in. The TNT. Lanthony against Jones, this is going to be a good matchup all game long. Goes over the left shoulder and scores. His fourth point of the game, 7-6, L.A. Cheaters by one. And a foul in this L.A. Cheaters team. His brother get his share, almost $77,000. Florida TNT, based out of Central Florida, as Christopher Warren knocks in a three. 18 points yesterday afternoon. Jalen Bland elects to go underneath the screen, giving too much space for a confident shooter in war. Inside pass from Jones. And from the elbow, the distributor for an easy two. Warren trapped in the point in his hands, lines up a three. Get in his first three here tonight. And another three goes in by the Cheaters. And have a rhythm out of the gate, something we did not see yesterday. Boynton nails a three. Back and forth we go. Communication. Knowing where your man is, and quite frankly, hustle. Foul inside on Florida for well-known leagues in the country and around the world for that matter. It's been around. He was the only, actually, current LA Cheater squad, talking to the guys at the hotel last night, a sincere reverence for their head coach and his ability on a hardwood. Warren, he gets a three. Catches that thing behind the three-point line. Seems like that'll be the defensive philosophy. Dare the lefty to take the long ball. Jones off the mark, put back in by Smith. Watched 11 rebounds, four of them offensive the day before, picking up where he left off. Jones fouled. He will shoot. Autograph on his forehead. Don't worry about it. Great young man, though. I'll call you a wise man. I can do it at halftime if you like. I mean, you sure. Warren. Jones against Michael Thompson, who's checked into the game for the first time tonight. Jones, tough shot over Thompson, no, tipped again by Clark. Williams is to locate the body, use some force to clear him out. He's got the body to do so. Bearfield, Dipsy D, layup, scored the basket and one. They never leave the goal despite the contact. Thompson, Miller takes the three, oh, I think he banked it in. Warren, deep corner three, no. Rebound by Miller for the L.A. Cheaters. Miller, short, cleaning it up and scoring is Van Girard off the bench by getting back on D. Miller against Clanton. Where inside Miller. Girard taps it up and in with his off hand, the right hand side, and he scores. To make things happen with good touch around the basket. Shot clock turned off, down to 10 seconds to go in the opening quarter. Five seconds to go. Jones, tough look, three, way off the mark. And that's the end of the first quarter. Clanton. Boynton, that's a three, and that's good. He's got his stroke. Reggie Miller at an orthodox one, too. He went in a lot. And I'll tell you what, watching Kenny Boyne out here in Wichita, he's been connected on a whole lot of from distance. And Casper Ware Jr. Go Boynton, that's a tough looking three, and it goes in again. Second quarter. 
four or five for three, matching his three-point total when he went four of eight a game ago. He likes the three-point line here, which is tough. Cedric Fairfield playing for the LA Cheaters. Fairfield turns it over. Number five of the Cheaters. And Bunton scores again. 14 points for Florida TNT, and they're back in the lead by one. And a steal by Bunton. Goes inside. Oh, oh, oh. That's missed. A rare miss for Bunton here tonight. And Bland knocks down the 15. You're playing real true physical defense. You're challenging the officials to blow this one. Warren, a long two goes in. He has eight. Jones made a three earlier in this game. Goes inside strongly. Count the basket. And Lawrence Jones, 20 points yesterday. He was nine points so far tonight. Jones against Jones. And slammed in by Florida TNT. Tim and rules and effects. Once that ball hits the rim, either team's player can go after it, even if it's in the cylinder like it was a moment ago. And there is Derek Williams, his first points in the gate. Four minutes exactly to go, second quarter. Jones got the step inside and lays it in. I'd probably say Jones is that best option, but Terrence Jones, that is. Dominic Jones understand there was nobody home, so beat his guy after dribble, he'll have the world, and he did. Score the three and the fifth. Again, two regions this weekend in which. Boynton inside to Rivia for the chain. Winner plays in the third round on Tuesday night here in Wichita, Kansas. And a steal again by Florida TNT. Three on one. Jones, the trailer, the really Florida TNT. Williams catches it. Corner, Miller, three. Down it goes. Said, you know, baseball was his first love. They go and try and play that professionally. He's counting. And once you tie these schools in, the affinity from the fans, this thing would only grow. And oh, yeah, you're chasing a lot of money. In first all time. This is the world's first reusable cotton swab. It removes up to five times more excess ear wax. Recent studies show that standard cotton swabs are harmful to your ears. Standard cotton swabs are more likely to push ear wax further into your ear rather than removing it. This often leads to blockages, ear canal infections, and hearing loss. Plus, they are incredibly bad for the environment. One out of two cotton swabs ends up in our waterways, or in the bellies of birds and other sea creatures. So, it's really not a good tool for removing ear wax. That's why many doctors and scientists strongly advise against using them at all. But how do you get rid of ear wax in a healthy and environmentally friendly manner? This ear, nose, and throat doctor, ENT for short, just solved this problem. And his invention is now destroying the wasteful cotton swab industry. At this rate, this product will replace 98% of cotton swab production by 2024. Here's how the story began 10 months ago. Andrew worked as an ENT doctor for over 15 years. He would see patient after patient with clogged ears. Clogged and blocked ear canals by years of earwax buildup. Worst of all, some people tried to fix this issue themselves and only made it worse. He wanted to prevent people from needing him in the first place. So he decided to take matters into his own hands. Blessed with his skills in medical science and years of experience in the field. Andrew invented a product that could replace the Q-tip forever. He brought his product to his colleagues. They were all amazed at the quality and efficiency of it. Finally, they had something that people could use at home safely. But Andrew wanted to help people across America get this low-cost solution. So he approached investors to raise funding. The investors were so convinced by his invention that he was given $1 million to bring his product to market. They called it the Twidler, a precise revolutionary tool to clean your ears, clearing the entire ear canal of unneeded ear wax, removing up to five times more excess ear wax than classic cotton swabs, and preventing long-term issues in just a few seconds. And thanks to its patented soft screw tip design, it does no damage to the ear whatsoever, being completely foolproof. 
giving you clean ears for better hearing and balance. Guess what? It's way cheaper than having to buy cotton swabs over and over again, and it's so easy to use as well. Just insert the soft screw tip into your ear and twist clockwise. It will dig itself into the ear wax, so you can easily pull it all out. Instead of pushing it deeper like with cotton swabs, which is dangerous and can lead to a whole array of issues, like a punctured eardrum, hearing loss, and even deafness. The Tidler is soft, effective, and safe to use. Get ready to experience cleared ear canals, regaining that full hearing. Doesn't irritate or endanger your ears. You can now relax knowing that your ears are cleared of unwanted ear wax. While most people still think using cotton swabs is safe and effective, many doctors strongly advise against them. That's why it's advised to use the Twiddler. It's better for you, your wallet, and the environment. One out of three people struggles with hearing loss caused by built-up earwax. Everyone deserves a safe and affordable method to remove unwanted earwax. So Andrew kept it out of Big Pharma's hands and made it affordable for everyone. When it first launched, Twiddler sold out in 15 minutes. The factory right here in the US is making more and we managed to get our hands on one. It arrived within three days of order, and when I tried it, I was blown away. With just a few turns, I had unplugged more earwax than I had ever seen before. I can now hear more clearly and better. People from all over the world have been enjoying the Twiddler. If you want one, there's good news and bad news. The good news, Andrew is giving it away at a huge discount, and since it's a one-time buy, it's a great deal. The bad news however, is that he didn't expect so many people to buy it so quickly. They run through stock fast, and there are only a few units left. Imagine how much better this could clean your ears than a standard cotton swab. Click on the link in this video to take advantage of this offer and grab the Twiddler now. Football's back. I gotta get to the booth. Get every major D1 football game with Dish and watch the teams you love on ESPN. Good. Good. It looked like it was going to be a three-point shot. Instead, they say it's a two-point shot. It's only two free throws per point in his way. Over four decades. Three-second differential between the two clocks. Jones, fade away. Rebound Clanton, five seconds to go. Florida TNT has to hurry. Clanton almost traveled. One second to go. Warren can't get it off in time. He makes the shot, but it's after the buzzer. Didn't TBT two years ago in 2019. Jones missing that three. Rebound by Pointing. He's everywhere for Florida TNT. Jones in traffic, banks it in. Such body hands of Warren. Back over to Dominique Jones, veteran, former NBA player. Stops on a dime and drops in another two. Instead of when he gets to playoff two, going up with it, gets a head fake, gets a shot blocker in the air. Where another three? He is four. He has three threes and 17 points. This one is fun. Guys put the ball in the basket. That's what we came to see. Also good stop. Shot missed by the LA Cheaters. Three down by Florida TNT. Boynton draws a triple team. Smith inside Clinton. It's by Jalen Bland. Offensive rebound. Williams open three short. Rebound by Clinton. Warren in rhythm. Nails another three. His third three of the game. Cultivating leaders to the game of basketball. His business, Iron Rainy Basketball. Oh, shot blocked by Boynton. He's been so active today. Up the floor is Jones, runs it down and scores. He has 10 points. Fairfield hits a long two. It's a long two point shot for Cedric Fairfield, foot of the line. He's a everybody knows how to make a basketball play with the ball. It forces the defense to make a decision, and that's what the game's about offensively. 
Jones left it short. Put back left hand Jones. My goodness. Smart Eddie Norilia with four baskets, eight points. Jones draws the contact and the foul. He will shoot two. That's Mike Greenberg. His great content mornings at ESPN. Personal fouls to foul out of TBT. And Jones goes. One of two at the strike. Offensive rebound, though, by the Cheaters. Williams, second try, no. Rebound, Mark Eddie Norelia. Norelia to deflect it, hustle down, trying to get something in transition. An extreme hustle guy, blue collar in his approach. Norelia, so active inside on both ends of the floor. Basketball, that was Casper Ware, senior. How do they get out of this drought? Well, the thing that Casper Ware, the coach, back, senior, back. was saying to his team in the backboard. They're being dominated there. They've given up 12 offensive rebounds. They got to fight tougher in the inside. That's a mindset and mentality. The shot for three goes in. And there's a basket. Points. The lead is down to four. Warren, high arcing three. Got it. Oh, my goodness. Three down four to TNT. Up the court, Aurelia running the floor like a deer. Up there, he's fouled. Game. He's made some big time plays and he's converting from the free. Right, five of five of the line, make it six of six. Lead of nine, 68 to 59. Jones fouled. He will shoot two. Championship team, his sophomore year with the two final fours. And uh, everybody agreed. Terrence Jones is one of really good at using his body, playing downhill and challenging the defense. Jones banks in a three. Jones with 13 points for Florida TNT in the lead by 11. Thompson, high rebound offensively, Gerard. And he banks it in. Gerard is like, maybe it's because of the jersey number he's wearing, 24. And Andre Miller made famous in the league for a long time starting at University of Utah. Jones draws the cup. TNT is now starting to apply more often some of that physicality. It's got the cheaters on 15, Florida TNT, eight of eight of the line, six of six in this quarter. And Casper learned that from his daddy, Casper a senior on the sidelines. Five career assists, dropping dimes. Number one seed ever line drive against the nine seed Stillwater Stars here on ESPN3. Pointing into Smith. He's back. Smith, a high flyer. Able to convert the first to two from the free throw line. Holland, Germany, and Sweden. Down to 10 seconds. Shot clock at four. Game clock about the same. Point in. Too strong off the back of the iron. And high for the rebound for the LA Cheater. Where? Bearfield. Gerard for two. Gerard is a 6 4 guard. <laughs> so we're in, we're in dag on all of them, is what you're saying. Mike Burks says that we will eventually get the other eight to join us. No, no. You're just showing your elite intelligence. Well, I, I don't know about that. <laughs> Jones draws the contact and the foul. DJ behind. As we come back, I'm going to have Brock Dean, all 190. NBA draft. And goes quick shoot three, and down it goes. The lead gets because we've seen teams with the lead going to the Elam ending and completely scrap their approach of what got them a lead. So the confluence of both. Wow, what a moment. Really cool to be here on hand for that. Those are the moments TBT delivers. Clanton stays patient, collects himself, and scores. Yesterday's win against Kimchi Express. He has 12 points here tonight. Jones knocks in a three. Jones knocks in another three. His third the game. He has 18 points. Came up with this idea several years ago, trying to keep games interesting, trying to not have the extension of games, going to the fouling technique to try and by the LA Cheaters. Down by six, a six nothing run here in the Elam ending. And this is what I'm talking about. Teams get tight, start forcing things. LA Cheaters 
The last person you want to fight in the bar is somebody with nothing to lose, and that's how they're playing at this point. Not looking at the scoreboard. Just a couple of minutes ago. Jones lost 18 points here tonight. And that's right in. One of two for Dominique Jones. It's on Fairfield, goes left hand and off the mark. Another stop by the LA Cheaters. Williams in transition, look at him go, and he scores, and he's fouled, and he'll get to the line for a free throw. Derek Williams. This Elam ending. Long, long. 11 to 1. Shot clock at 10. Warren. Fade away shot. Oh, tough shot, and it goes in for Chris Warren. He has 21 points on the night. Florida team. For the entire game, he gets in the Elam ending, and it has an impact on guys. Inside Marillia. Second try, no. They call a foul on the first shot. Right three. And Mark right Eddie Marillia will head to the line to shoot two. Foul on Terrence Jones, his third. It's a good look there. Thirteen points. He's in Spain. Goes two for two. The Florida team. What happens when you get within that spot? You want to try and have the game break. Cute finish. Just get two. The really end. No. Smith can't handle it. Into Jones's hands. Jones inside. Can't convert. Late back. 19 point. Another 20 point performance by. Good job. Way to be there, Kenny. Way to be there, Kenny. Where? Nice play. Lays it in. 21 points for Casper Ware and another chance for Florida TNT to win the game right here. Jones. Oh, they call an offensive foul on Dominique Jones, and he's... Where against Boynton, and oh, he can't convert. But it's out of bounds off of Florida TNT's Keith Clay. Jones leans inside off the backboard, got his own miss. And puts it in, count it in one. Fouls on Keith Clanton, and that's his sixth personal foul of the game. Another miss at the line for Jones. Four point game. One more point in Florida State, or making a Florida TNT rather, can win the game. Boynton for the win. Got it! And that's your ball game as Kenny Boynton hits another three. His fifth three of the game is only points in the second half, and Florida TNT moving on to the third round on Tuesday night. Kenny, ball game, point. Florida Gator bangs it down from distance. Florida TNT, the number five seed, winning it 92-85 on the points in three. Credit to Casper Ware. Defense of Stonewall had a hand in the face, gave up nothing. Sometimes it's just a shooter's death. 21 points for Kenny Boynton, the all-time three-point king in Florida Gators history.